What is up guys? Welcome back to the video. It's Mikey from JDM Icon here. Before we start today's video, I just want to let you guys know to leave a like down below as it really does help out the channel. And one thing I noticed is a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So if you guys do enjoy the videos, if you guys like the content that we're putting out, as it really does help us grow and it really does mean a lot if you guys enjoy the videos. Another thing to mention is the store is now live. Right now I'm rocking the Ikitani shirt. At the back we have an S13 coupe that's drifting club case style like when we came up with this design the first thing that popped into our head is Ikatani from initial D so we just named it the Ikatani shirt the most popular design is the club T which is basically our logo in front and at the back that says iconic Japanese car culture these are all made in-house by us so if you guys are interested in checking out some of the shirts and designs that we came up with the link is down below we have a bunch of other stuff too if you, in case you guys like peekers we got peekers as well here from Naruto, Tokyo Revengers, a bunch of different ones here. We even got Pikachu. What the hell? How did I get there? I was gonna sit in this chair and there, there's a centipede on it. What the hell? Get rid of this move. This is, my, this is my weapon of choice. Transfer tape. So I shall put transfer tape on you and then press down. <laughs> It's in transfer tape and then press down on him just so he sticks. Yeah, look at that huge brain. I'm gonna fold you over like that so he can't escape. Put you in the garbage. Bye. If you clicked on this video, you guys are probably looking for a gift, whether it's for a birthday, anniversary, or uh, Father's Day. I don't know. Like, just for like any occasion, a gift for a car person or a car lover or a car enthusiast, whatever you guys want to call us. And I noticed that a lot of people don't know what to get us car enthusiasts because some of the gifts are outrageously expensive. And if you don't know much about cars, it could be actually kind of overwhelming to walk into a speed shop or a car shop and be like, hey, I have $100 to spend, what can I buy? In this video, I'm gonna be helping you guys pick out the perfect gift for your car guy boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. So to make things easy for you guys, I broke it down into three categories in terms of budget. The first one being around $50, the next one being around $150, and then the next one being $200 plus, depending on how much you guys wanna spend. But let's start with the $50 budget. Lately in the car scene, stickers have been something huge, whether that's like anime peekers as I showed you guys earlier in the video, or like quotes just like this one that we have on the website that says, don't look back, you're not going that way. Things like that, or even something like if he likes old, old school Nissans. This is inspired by the old Nismo logo. Not only is it a piece of art, but it's something that we can rock on our car. Some people even just have a bunch of stickers on a one quarter window. So in my opinion, it's a really good idea to just get a bunch of stickers. There are also different types of stickers. These are called stickers like these are called decals. These are really popular as well as full color stickers which are called slap stickers. I'm one of the people that have a slap sticker collection because I look at it as again like a piece of art and I think it just looks really cool even if you don't use it. It just looks cool like displayed or just to have in general. Next up are Hot Wheels. Now this one could be a little bit tricky because you do have to go Hot Wheel hunting. You can go online on eBay, Etsy, or, or even on Facebook Marketplace as there are a bunch of people collecting Hot Wheels. And honestly, a lot of my friends who are into cars love Hot Wheels too. I don't wanna say I'm a collector, but I do have quite a few Hot Wheels that I've found randomly at Walmart or whatever. So that's something to consider too. They're pretty cheap. There are some rare ones that can be up to like $50, but most of the ones out there are under like 10 bucks, 10, $15 for sure. And if you are lucky enough to find one at the grocery store or at Walmart or whatever, like they're like a buck 50 at most, so. Now getting into car parts just a little bit, I wouldn't really consider this like a car part, but it is a part for a car, is a license plate frame. The good thing with license plate frames are they are universal. They can go on almost any car, unless you're in like the UK or Japan where your license plates are slightly different from the North American license plates. If you are from North America, 99% I would say of license plate frames will fit your vehicle. Now if you have a JDM car, it is a little bit different if your car is right-hand drive because again, Japanese license plates are a little bit different. That's something to consider. Still, North American license plate frames will work. All you need to do is drill a couple of holes. Giving a gift to a car guy, he most likely has drilled a hole in something before, so don't worry about that. Now, of course, for us car enthusiasts, our pride and joy, the favorite thing in our life, other than you, of course, watching this video, is 
our cars. We love our cars so much. If you ask us, we have no clue why we like cars, but we just do. So why don't, why not give us, <laughs> man, this sounds so like snobby or whatever. <laughs> A canvas print of a car, of their car, would be really, really cool. In most cases, if they like cars, they probably have a bunch of pictures of their cars and try to find what their favorite picture of their car is. Another good idea I, that wasn't on the list that I just thought of is get them a photo shoot. There are a bunch of photographers locally on Instagram looking for work. If you hire a photographer to go take pictures, professional pictures of boyfriend or girlfriend's car, like that's like not only are you helping someone locally, like their small local business taking pictures, but you're also have the possibility of getting an awesome printout like this. This is one I got my brother for his birthday. I also got a couple for myself too. This is actually really cool. I ended up getting four of them, two for myself and two for my brother, and I think it was like $120. So if you get one or two, like it's around the $50 range, I'd say. And last but not least for the $50 category, I would say is small car accessories. Now for $50, obviously, Budget's a little tight here because car parts are really expensive, but it's not impossible. You can definitely still do it. Again, if you buy a bunch of small stuff here and there, you can end up having a really, really cool gift and I'm sure your boyfriend or girlfriend would love it no matter what. For me personally, the fact that someone would even watch this video and try and look for something, that honestly means a lot because I understand not everyone likes cars and it's the type of topic that, that can be really, really confusing. So the fact that you guys are going out of your way to figure something like this out, that's a gift in itself. The last thing on this list would be shift knobs, infinity mirrors, Broadway mirrors, shift boots, keychains. So those are all things to consider, like shift knobs, you just have to be careful that you get the right thread pitch. If you do know the make and model of the car that your boyfriend and girlfriend has, it should be pretty easy. The information to find is pretty easy to find online. And uh, honestly, shift knobs you can get for around 50 to $100 online. So there are a bunch of options out there. So in case you guys are wondering what infinity mirrors are, this is what they are. It's, it's, a ba it's basically, this is not a good... <laughs> Of course, Mikey, turn off the light. But this is what an infinity mirror is. It's basically a rear view mirror. As you can see, when the light is off, it just works as a normal mirror. This thing kind of adjusts and uh, it just clips onto the back of your existing OEM factory rear view mirror. It has a design at night, so if you're driving or whatever and you want to be, I don't know, have a cool aesthetic in your car or if you're parked up at a car meet, you turn the light on and it has a design. This one is our logo, but we have a bunch of other designs on the website and it also comes in different colors. So all you have to do is press lightly on the button and it has like a bunch of like pink, red, green, blue, yellow, light blue, and then back to pink. Honestly, it's been a trend for quite a while. This thing is actually really cool in my opinion and would be an awesome gift for any car lover. There's a centipede on this chair. How did it even get onto the chair? Like, did it fall from the sky? I'm so confused, honestly. I like, I'll pull the chair open. I'm like, how'd you get there? <laughs> so next up is a $150 budget or around that ballpark. If they're anything like me, probably one of their favorite things to do is drive their car so what's the best thing to buy for a person that loves to drive their car is a nice pair of driving shoes now this has nothing to do with cars in general but the actual experience of driving the car now there are a bunch of shoes out there that are good driving shoes but yet shoes that you probably have seen every single day vans classics are actually really nice anything with like like a skateboard shoe with a really flat and thin sole is actually really nice. Converse is a really good one. It's a classic look, classic shoe. It comes in a bunch of different colors. As long as it doesn't have a really thick sole, it's probably gonna feel good on the pedals. Any Adidas shoe with Boost or like an NMD or like a, um, what is it called? Super Boost? No, Ultra Boost. <laughs> Super Boost. <laughs> Um, the sole is kind of squishy, so it does feel kind of weird, but after a while, you, I kind of got used to it and I do prefer driving a car with an Adidas Boost on it. Like, it does feel pretty good. And last but not least, if your car guy or car girl, boyfriend or girlfriend likes Japanese cars and has watched Initial D, my personal favorite, I haven't tried it yet, but it's on the list, and I do feel it's a really good driving shoe because if Takumi wore it, it should be good enough for anyone else out there who are, who's into cars. The New Balance 574s. Now this shoe, okay, to be completely honest, it may not be the best driving shoe out there. A, a really, the most popular one is Converse and Vans, but 
this shoe was in Initial D and it's super nostalgic to watch Initial D and see that, that shoe in the anime. If your boyfriend or girlfriend is an Initial D lover and you're not looking to break the bank, buy him a pair of shoes, maybe some stickers as well. You got an awesome present for your boyfriend or girlfriend. Now this shoe does come in a few colors, so it should be really easy to pick one that suits your significant other. And speaking of driving equipment, another thing to get that is actually really, really cool in my opinion is a pair of driving gloves. I'm not talking about the leather ones with like the holes on the, on the knuckles and stuff. I haven't been to the racetrack yet, but I feel like driving gloves is just really cool to drive your car once in a while. And just to go like cruising with the guy that you're wearing driving gloves, you're feeling like Kichi Sachia, the Drift King. I don't know, I think it's really cool and uh, I think it would be an awesome, awesome gift to give a car person. Speaking of gloves, another glove to actually get as a gift is mechanics glove. There are guys that love working on their cars and love tinkering on cars. They not only protect your hand, it also keeps your hands clean and these gloves are really, really durable. So that's something to consider as well. So going back into car parts and accessories, a quick release is an awesome gift. Just in case they don't have a quick release yet, a quick release is actually a really cool gift because they come in again, a bunch of different colors and designs. There are different types. If you guys want to check out more information on quick releases, I'll link a video where I go over basically all types of quick releases and stuff. They are relatively within the $150 range. There are a bunch of different ones, but again, this is something you don't want to cheap out on. So if you want to check out more information on quick releases, I'll leave a link or annotation to the video right in the corner here. Now this one is personally all to preference, but this is also another good gift idea is apparel. There are a bunch of car related or car inspired clothing brands out there. You can find them on Instagram like Never Content, Night Runner, as well as our own jdmicon.jp, link down below. But there are a bunch of like car inspired shirts that are just chill. It's not in your face and you know, some car people like myself, I don't really like wearing shirts that are like up in your face saying like, oh, I like cars check me out but I don't know nevertheless I feel like those are really good ideas car apparel why not so the last thing on this list is actually a pretty useful one a good gift to give them is a Bluetooth OBD scan tool now there are a lot of these online I would recommend to not get the cheapest one as the cheapest ones are almost close to being useless <laughs> But there are a few OBD2 scan tools out there in case you don't know what OBD is. It's basically a tool to have your car tell you what the problem is. So you basically plug it into your car, to the computer of your car, and it gives a code and you translate that code and that code translates to whatever the problem is regarding the engine, airbag, safety, whatever electrical is in the car. I don't wanna get too in depth as to what this is but there are some really cool ones out there that I've seen one of them being Bluetooth and you can download an app and it's all on your phone so that's something really cool because a lot of the time if you have a scan tool it's really big and bulky and you don't, you don't want to carry that everywhere with you so you, if you have this little like Bluetooth OBD scanner keep it in the glove box your check engine light comes on you can pull over or whatever and plug it in and then just connect your phone right to the Bluetooth OBD2 and get your answer right away. So that is something really, really useful. And even if their car doesn't break down a lot, it's just something good to have and it's something useful. When they do need it, they're gonna think of you and be like, yeah, Jessica saved my ass today. I don't know if your name is Jessica. It's probably not. So this budget is the baller budget. It's $200 plus. There are tons of things you can buy within that budget because it's $200 plus so like I guess sky's the limit realistically so you're probably not gonna buy them a carbon fiber hood because that's like $1,500 again unless you're balling go for it that would be an awesome present I'd be so stoked to have a carbon fiber hood for my birthday Father's Day for any occasion and honestly in this price range we do get a little bit technical in terms of car parts but again I picked out things that are fairly easy to buy and shop for you just have to know the year make and model of your whatever car that they have. It should be pretty easy with a simple Google search. But the first thing on our list is a strut bar. A strut bar doesn't exactly do anything in terms of performance, I would say, especially if they're just cruising in on the street. But when they open their hood and they have a strut bar, it does look really, really cool. I'll put a picture of how they look right now. But it does look really cool and sporty in the engine bay. And honestly, something like this can cost anywhere between $150 to $350 or even more if it's titanium. The next one is honestly one of my personal favorites because I love collecting these things. 
which are steering wheels. I love steering wheels. I probably have three steering wheels in my room that are not for any car. I just have three steering wheels. I don't know why, but uh, it's just something I like and I do collect. So they're probably gonna like steering wheels too. And if you wanna get a steering wheel set up, that would be really cool too. So, so if your boyfriend or girlfriend has a stock steering wheel, you can buy them an aftermarket steering wheel. And if you wanna figure out what they're gonna need, for something like that, I will link a video in the corner where you can check all of that out. The next thing is a front lip. So in case their car is relatively stock or if they don't have a front lip yet, a front lip is a really, really good option to get them because it makes the car look so much better. Two, it does make the car look sporter, makes the car look lower. And honestly, it's pretty affordable for how big and how big of a change it does on the car. So if you're looking for, for a lip, I would highly recommend polyurethane. It's a place like Vicrez or KBD sell pretty good lips. I have them on my Z. I'm really happy with them. They're also really durable. So if you, if they do scrape on it, it doesn't break as easy. And again, it's pretty affordable. It's within the price range. This one's a little bit expensive because electronics are very expensive. But if they have a factory head unit, why not buy them an aftermarket head unit? The one I have in my Z is one I really, really like. And after buying an aftermarket head unit, it is one of the things that I now feel is the first thing to change or upgrade in a car. It greatly enhances the driving experience of the car. A lot of the head units nowadays have Android or Apple CarPlay. It can charge your phone. It has a GPS built into it. It's touchscreen, it looks a lot cleaner, more modern in the car. It's just a win-win-win situation. So that is something to consider as well. All right, so before we get into things to stay away from, some honorable mentions. I don't have many honorable mentions, honestly. The only honorable mention I could think about is detailing supplies. Now, they could be a really good gift, don't get me wrong. Detailing supplies are awesome because obviously we love cars and we want our cars to be clean but there are some products that some car enthusiasts don't like using or some or certain brands that we don't like using some car enthusiasts refuse to use certain products and brands on their car for some reason there's they have like a cult i don't i don't, I don't get it either but in case they're like that um it's just safer to stay away from and anything from the lists that i have given you earlier in this video but detailing supplies can be all right if you buy like a starter kit with a bunch of different things in there from wax to quick detailer, glass cleaner, tire shine, microfiber cloths are a really good one because we do go through it all the time. So if you're looking to buy like just a whole kit, some small things here and there, that's also a really good idea. I'm just putting myself in your guys' show what you guys could be going through. Because again, looking at the detailing aisle, even at Canadian Tire or AutoZone, it could be really overwhelming if you have never professionally detail the car before. Okay, so things to stay away from. I can only think of one which was tools because tools can get not only really expensive, but a lot of mechanics out there are really picky with their tools. So unless you know what they really want, I would stay away from them. And a lot of us have multiple of the same tool already. So tools may not be a good idea because, because of those reasons. So that's just something to consider. Stay away from tools, especially if you don't know anything about tools, whether you want metric or imperial. There are so many different variation styles of even just wrenches alone. They're, they have swiveling, swiveling this way, swiveling this way, um, ratcheting, non-ratcheting. It could be really, really overwhelming and really hard to shop for, especially if they already have their own tools. If they don't have their own tools, then you could consider buying them like a, a wrench and socket kit for their birthday or something like that. A simple starter set is a good idea, but if they already have tools, it's best to just stay away from it and buy them a hoodie on the JD Micron website. All right, but that is it for today's video. I really hope this video did help you guys out, at least clarify or give you guys some ideas as to what to give car people, because I understand it could be really, we could be really hard to shop for, especially if you're on a budget or if you don't want to spend a whole lot of money or if you just don't know cars in general. Like, I understand cars aren't for everyone and not everyone was born with a passion for cars. But sometimes you meet a person that you really care about and they love cars. I just wanna help you guys find a gift that they're probably gonna like. Anyways, if you thought this video was helpful in any sort of way, 
leave a like and subscribe because I noticed a lot of you guys are not subscribed and it really does help out our YouTube channel. And if you think I missed anything or if you disagree with anything I said in this video, leave a comment down below because I would really like to make a part two if you guys are interested. And again, the website is now live, so if you guys wanna go check out the website, link is down below in the description. Go check it out, we have a bunch of cool items on the website. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.